everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today in this video I'm going to be doing don't choose the wrong shaving cream slime challenge. I have wanted to do another slime challenge for a little while. I don't feel like I've done one recently. I don't really know if I have or not. It just doesn't feel like it. So I'm going to be doing this slime challenge and I'm super excited. my channel make sure to smash that subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up so how this challenge is going to work is I have six different ziplocs and each of them have shaving foam in them and a drop of food dye or a couple drops I'm not really sure and but you can't tell what color it is and I will be blindly picking a number and all the Ziplocs will be numbered and that number that I pull out of the um, box is the shaving cream Ziploc that I will be choosing and I will be making two slimes so right now let's get started so here are all the shaving foams there's one two three four five. oh these two need to be switched one two three four five six and here's the glass with all the numbers in it and I'm going to move these to a separate table so that um, I have more space. So I have a second bowl which is right over here and I'm going to be making two slimes so the first one that I'm going to be drawing out is going to be for this slime. So I'm going to mix them in and I promise I am not looking and they're folded up anyway so I'm going to choose this one for this bowl slime. And it is four. Okay, so I'm going to get the fourth Ziploc. And I'm just going to lay it in there. And now I'm going to pick one for this one. Okay, so I'm mixing it up. And... Here it is, number one. I mix them up again, and now it's for this bowl. And it is going to be number five, okay. So, so far we have one bowl that has not very Sorry guys, I got a little distracted, but what I was going to say is this bowl has higher numbers and this bowl has lower numbers so far. So now it's going on to the second bowl. So I am not looking and here it is. And I'm pretty sure it says, yep, it says three. So here is number three. And okay, so now it is for this bowl. And it is number six. Oh my goodness, it's four, five, and six. And one, two, and three. That's so funny. So, and then there's the last one, which is number two. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it in there. So, I'm not going to really mix them up anymore because it kind of just exploded and tried to come out itself. So, now I'm just going to add them in. And we got... The blue, it's just stuck to the um, mixer. All right, so that's no one of the numbers. And then here is the red. And I'm going to add in it. That's really pretty. And then I'm going to add in the yellow. Okay, so I have now added all of the shaving foam into one bowl, but now I'm going to add all the shaving foam into the next bowl. 
So here is the next bowl. And this one I think is purple because I can see a little purple drop. I'm just going to mix it up a little bit. It's probably enough. And now I'm just going to squeeze it in. That's really pretty. I really like that. Okay. Now we have number three. Ooh, it's green. Purple and green, not the best colors. But it might work. And then I'm going to add in number two, which is red. So I think this one may turn out to be a brownish color, but I still think it looks pretty cool right now. Okay, so now I'm going to mix them up, and I'm going to start with this one. This one has red, blue, and yellow. So right now it only has shaving foam in it, but I will add glue in it in just a minute to turn it into slime. So this looks actually really pretty. It's almost like a purpley color. And it is super pretty. Or it's kind of like brown but it's kind of purple it looks more purple in real life than it does on camera for some reason I don't really know why so yeah that's the first slime mixed it is now time to mix this slime I'm really hoping this slime turns out better than the other one because the other one is kind of um ugly it's kind of turned gray but this one looks like it's going to turn out really nice ooh that's really pretty i'm really surprised because i thought this one was going to look ugly but it actually is like a really pretty pink it's um purple on camera for some reason but it isn't actually pink maybe if i focus it it still doesn't want to um make it pink but in real life it is um almost the color of my shirt so it is really really pretty and so yeah now i'm gonna add some glue in and make it into slime so i'm gonna add glue to this one and it's turned like more gray well, it is more gray. I think that's probably enough, maybe. I don't know. It's turning more purple. Like, with the glue added, it turned more like a purple. But that's good, because I don't like the color it was before. It's actually turning really pretty. I might add a tiny bit more of glue. And maybe it will make it even prettier, hopefully. So, it looks a lot better than it did. I don't know why it, like, changed colors. It is purple now. So now I'm going to add glue into the other one, and I'm not going to show that on camera. So I finished adding glue to them, and now it is time to activate. So I'm going to activate this one first, 
And I am not using contact lens solution. I'm using Elmer's Magic Liquid because sometimes contact lens solution makes it really sticky and it just won't activate. I've seen other people have used borax, but please tell me what you think is the best activer, activer, I can't say it now, activator, activator, there we go. On, make sure to tell me what you think is the best activator on the discussion page or in the comments down below. So I just finished activating this lime and it is super nice. It's um, a little sticky, but that's okay. I can activate it a little more in a minute, but now I'm going to activate this slime. And I forgot to tell you guys this. If you didn't know how I activated my slime, I kind of already told you earlier, but I do use this like I said, but I also like to use this because this makes it too sticky, and in my opinion, this makes it too hard. So the use of both of these makes a really nice lime. So magical liquid and contact lens solution. So I'm going to show you these slimes individually, but first let me clean up everything. So this is a really nice slime. This is the second one I activated. And it is so nice. I really like it. And I think it's prettier than the other one in my opinion. But it is still really nice. And this bubble is kind of weird. Like I can touch it without it popping. Oh, it popped. Okay. Well, anyway, I really like this slime. It's super crunchy. And it is a really nice, stretchy, fluffy, fun, pretty slime. And I'm going to show you the other slime in just one moment. I am so, 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 so sorry. I just realized I was filming in slow-mo. So you didn't get to see the other slime, and you didn't get to see me mix both of them. And I am so, so, so sorry. I will definitely check behind myself in the future. But I did end up mixing the two slimes together. And this is what it looks like. It's really crunchy and nice. And like I said, I'm so, so, so sorry. But somehow I started filming on slow-mo when I meant to film on just a video. So I don't really know how I did it. I don't remember changing it or whatever. But I'm going to make sure the whole video is not on slow-mo because that would be really, really bad. But this is the finish line. Like I said, it's super nice. And I'm going to do a bubble because you got to miss the bubble I did for the other slime. Ooh, that's cool. It's, um, this one's kind of dense. It feels like, and so like, oh, it's kind of weird. It feels weird. I don't have a slime that feels this way. It's kind of different than from my other slimes. But it's super nice, crunchy. So yeah. So luckily not my whole video is on slow-mo. It is not on slow-mo, which is really good. But like I said, I'm really, really sorry I had to delete those two videos. Um, yeah. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. And if you have any video ideas you'd like me to do, make sure to comment either down below or on the discussion page. It just depends if the comments down below are disabled. And also, I will um, put some hashtags in the link, not the link, in the um, description box down below. And if you comment either on the discussion page or down below the hashtags, um, then you might get a shout out in my next video. So, like I said, I really hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Bye.